the goal with this project is to make it simple for anyone to start working with these concepts of GPU programming, even if they've never programmed in the traditional way before. And that's sort of really the, the philosophical idea of the project, is to get people thinking about programming in a different way, and especially by targeting new programmers. And so I think the urgency for me in doing this project is that I think this is one of the key areas where the artistic community can contribute to the computer science community. Um, so basically, uh, you know, processors aren't getting any faster. Um, they, you know, we can push them to go faster, but they're reaching these physical limits where they just get too hot or they require too much energy. Um, so the, the new strategy for that for the past 10 years has been to make processors wider in a sense. So you just have more processors that are all doing their own thing independently, and that's sort of what the GPU is all about. Um, but the problem with this is that a lot of people in the academic computer science community are still focused on taking the traditional ways of programming and trying to just get those to run on these parallel um, systems. But really, I think people should be looking at it as, well, you know, everything is parallel, and we need to just be thinking about this in that way. And like, um, I was at an academic conference two weeks ago where um, I was saying, well, be, look, you know, like, the universe is parallel, right? Like, everything's happening everywhere all the time. Um, we should be thinking about our programs like that rather than this very narrow-minded, like, do this, do this, do this, do this, you know, like, sequence of things. Um, and the guy's response was, well, you know, I don't think there are very many people in the world who can think like that. Um, but I think that's completely the wrong... I think most people in the world think like that, and it's just that people who are entrenched in the traditional ways of programming are very much caught up in, like, just doing sequences of things. But, you know, people in the arts community are very used to... Um, you know, seeing a system as the relation of all of its parts and how all of them interact with each other and relate to each other simultaneously. Um, and so um, this is, so that's why I think that the artistic community could really, um, by getting this next generation of programmers thinking about programming in this way of parallel programming, um, could really contribute to um, the computer science world as a whole.